Soundstripe. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Tom Baldridge with the Lancaster Chamber, and I just wanted to uh, tell you what an honor it is to be able to be a part of this celebration today. Kegel's Produce, as I'm sure everybody in this room knows, is a uh, not just a well-run, well-respected company, but it is frankly an iconic brand in Lancaster County. And to take a moment and to celebrate the fact that they've been in business with integrity, consistently giving back to this community for 70 years is really quite an amazing feat that not too many family-owned businesses can, can claim. So congratulations on that. And the bonus is, at least from an outsider's perspective looking in, the bonus is the family that has held this together for seven years still gets along. <laughs> is that right? Still okay. Thumbs up. All right. Which is just a great testament, I think, to the integrity and the quality of the people that, that, make, that are the Kegels and the Myers and all the staff and, uh, that they've assembled over the years to make this product uh, so well known, so well regarded, and so respected throughout not just Lancaster County but throughout the entire region. So it's a real honor for the Chamber to be part of this, uh, in part to uh, also acknowledge the fact that for over 50 years, Kegels has been a supporter of the Chambers and just as one example of the way they give back to this community on a consistent basis, not just through their own corporate kindness but through the, the culture that they build and the employees that they hire. So it's an honor to be here today. I'm glad to see everybody here celebrating along with the, the staff and thank you very much and congratulations and here's to 70 more years, Kenny. Thank you. So before I begin, uh, I believe in full disclosure, although I work with uh, Kegels through the Barnstormers and also through my promotional items company, Kenny Myers and I are very good friends. Uh, Kenny, where are you? don't worry, I will not tell anybody. No secrets will be shared here today. Everything is still safe. Um, so being in business for 70 years is a huge accomplishment. Kenny, Sue, the rest of the family and the employees that they treat like family should be applauded for 70 years. Like Tom Baldridge said, I think what needs to be celebrated even more, however, is uh, Kegel's community involvement. The family loves Lancaster and loves to help in the Lancaster community. Um, I see it firsthand at the stadium. They have been a supporter since uh, day one. Whenever they bring customers into their suite, uh, it's as if they are bringing to show off Lancaster County and the community center that uh, they had a part in building. Kenny is also uh, very active with the American Heart Association. A few years ago, he was the chair of the walk. And if you do go to the walk every year, you'll find tables of bananas and apples that are provided by Kegels. They also contribute to the Sertoma event, the hospice auction, the Red Rose Run, the American Cancer Society, and other events as well. I know that a lot of small nonprofits approach Kenny, Sue all the time, and they are constantly helping them out. They regularly donate fruits and vegetables to the Central PA Food Bank, they support the uh, Central PA Chefs Association, and uh, in working with school districts and universities, they are committed to providing educational resources and constant support that goes above, well above and beyond what is required of them. I could also go on talking about how uh, Kenny is always helping others, but I won't embarrass him. He likes to stay under the radar, so I'll leave it at that. And the long and short of it is that besides being good business people, the ownership of Kegels, family here, they are just good people. 
We are lucky to have the business and family in our community, and this, I, I believe it's part of what makes Lancaster strong and a special place for Lancaster to live. So congratulations, and uh, I'd like to say I wish you another 70 years, but I don't think any of us are going to be here to celebrate that. Um, but uh, it's just nice to see this, knowing Kenny, knowing the family, and seeing everybody here to help celebrate. So congratulations. First off, I want to thank all the previous presenters for their time and presentations. Please know that it, it means a lot to me that you took time out of your day to come and join us. I especially want to thank Bob Zuckerman, my best friend, and my advisor for his kind words. Seventy years in business is a long time. Seventy years in the fresh produce business is an even longer time. This fresh produce business relies on so many factors. Many times it's really hard for me to believe. As with any successful business, we rely on dedicated, trustworthy employees. That, in many cases, are family. Uncle Bo, Uncle Bo's been with Kegel's Purse for 58 years. <laughs> Bo is here seven days a week. Checking the quality and doing repack. My mother, Suzanne, tells me daily about her taking produce orders off their answer machine and handwriting them up. I have a copyright, I have a typewriter statement here from High Foods, which was located in Greenfield. That's the way it used to be done. I actually found paperwork the other day we have it out in the lobby from 1967 with Paul Burtz's name on it, linking Kegel's Produce to its current CPA firm, the Burtz Hessen Company, which we're still proud partners with. We would not be here today without Burtz Hessen Company. When I was 16, I got interested in direct buying produce from California. That's when we were located on 22 North Marbury Street, and we lived up 
above 22 North Mulberry Street in an apartment. My dad left me by. So I'd read this produce newspaper called The Packer. I was curious about FOB and what FOB was. FOB stood for freight on board. Basically, I'd see the price, it'd say $4 for lettuce. And I'd see that we were paying $12 for lettuce in Philadelphia, and I thought, we're paying $12 in Philadelphia, and I could buy it for four. It just didn't make any sense to me. And so he said, well, well, you try and get it for $4, and then you have to put the freight on it when it comes from California. So I got a hold of a broker called Tom Lang, and, and we worked it out. And I had, um, I think, four skins of lettuce, and four skids of strawberries come in. And that load came in, and it was four pounds of sweet darling strawberries. And the strawberries were no good. They were, they were white. <clears throat> but my dad handled it. We sent them to Philadelphia. And we sold them down there. And then that's when we got into Fresh Cut at Mulberry Street. And I met now. Now looked like a 14 year old kid. <laughs> and he took over our Fresh Cut department. <clears throat> Sorry. And then my dad would let me. Uh, go to the old produce auction at 16 and start buying produce. And I, I had so much fun down there buying from the Amish and seeing these cart carts come in with these Amish kids that were out early in the morning pulling this produce. And when it was dark and I would... Uh, I created friendships that I still have today. And that's where I also met Dave and Dale Lynn Staggers, and they're still here with me today. I'm a firm believer in sharing the responsibilities when it comes to produce buying at Kegel's Produce. Jerry Horn leads that team and nobody does it better. I could not tell you how thankful I am for everything that Jerry does. I want to thank John Groff for all of his efforts in leading the company. He's been with the company since high school and college and continues to do an excellent job every day. I want to thank Chuck Wilkinson from Produce Pro for leading our produce software. I want to thank George from Produce Alliance, a group we joined at least 20 years ago to help us compete nationwide. I want to thank Jordan Space and s and Bank for being an outstanding partner. I want to thank Ola Bowles, one of my favorite companies for their continued success in such a fun and healthy product. I want to thank Mike Melville for his photography. I want to thank my cousin Gina Dunn for all that she's done with her design and, and invitations. I want to thank Wayne Matata for taking care of my mom. I want to thank my mom's sisters, Mary and Doreen, for taking care of me. I want to thank Costa for the rice pudding. <laughs> the rice pudding is from the Sun Restaurant. And Costa, you're just one of a kind. I want to thank Chef of the Way for all his efforts with today's event. I want to thank Rachel for all her efforts with today's event. I want to thank Lee for leading our food safety program. 
I want to thank Jim Assad and Darlene for all their work in controlling in our controlling and accounting efforts. I want to thank Adam for ripening the bananas and restacking them. I want to thank Don, Joe Mealy, Jamie, and Corey for handling so much with our day-to-day -day operations. I want to thank Lisa and Kathy for handling our human resources. I want to thank Andrea Sharp for kindly listening to my complaints after I do a morning walk through the coolers. I want to thank my three boys, KJ, Carrick, and Kobe, who all worked here this past summer. Well, time will not allow me to thank everyone. We certainly appreciate, every, we appreciate everyone's efforts, from the drivers to the sanitation team. I appreciate everyone. We appreciate all our customers. My mother and I are funny. If you see us out, just ask my boys. We only like to go to Kegel's Produce account. Last but not least, I want to thank Dawn Manka. Dawn deserves a huge round of applause for putting this event together.